Hello, I am Mudita, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is episode 10 of the Load Balance playthrough, and today I'm going to tackle empty canisters. I was starting to make a fuel generator power plant because I need more power before I can really start working on some bigger factories, and I realized I was going to need a few thousand empty canisters with the diluted package fuel recipe, and I'm going to continue to need a few thousand each time I set up another large plastic, rubber, or power plant. So maybe I should just make a factory to make sure I always have enough empty canisters on hand. This factory will make 120 a minute. I'm going to be using this bar right here. So to quickly go over what we're going to be doing, this is going to be using 60 copper ore and 90 iron ore, so I can get away with just using one impure node for each. We're going to use two smelters for the copper, three smelters for the iron, and then we're going to turn the 60 copper ingots into copper sheets with three constructors and the 90 iron ingots into iron plates with three constructors. And then we'll combine both of those into assemblers to make our empty canisters at 120 a minute and send those to storage. So let's quickly go over the blueprints. So like I mentioned, this is going to use our two smelter blueprint, the three smelter blueprint, two sets of the three constructor blueprint, and last but not least, the two assembler blueprint. This factory is gonna be really easy to set up, but first let me get these towers built and then we'll put all the machines in place. Now that the towers are built, let's get the machines in place. Okay, so the build scene is going to be real straightforward, so let's knock that out. So I made sure that things were lined up. So this is going to be 90 iron ingots, so it's got to be marked too. So let's make sure to get everything set. All three at 100%. Same thing with these iron plates. Now, if I wanted to, I could even have plugged up just each smelter to each. Constructor, sorry. But since it's already a blueprint, I'm just gonna leave it. Makes everything simple. And same thing with this, it's got to be 94, so we need mark 2. Drag that down to here. And one, two. There we go. And let's make sure this has our one power shard. And there we go. So that's the iron. And then I'll probably drop it down somewhere to turn up here or here. I don't know exactly where I'll bring it in, but chances are what we'll do is we will keep this. We're just going to flip it around since um, we didn't need to make this any bigger. You can just have this stuff come in from the inside. Because these are going to use coated canisters. We only need Mark 1 belts, it doesn't matter which one plugs into where. So chances are, yeah, we'll probably just do something like this. 
not the prettiest, but real easy. I could move this back, but why would I want to do that? So let's just drop that there. So this is only going to be 60. Each one of these needs 20. These are all at 100%. These two are also at 100%. So we're just gonna take our Mark 1 belt, drop it down right there. And then over here, place on lift, drop it down to the floor. And let's see. Can we make this not weird? We'll go right there. That's about as close enough. So there's, it should be 60, perfect. All right, so it's that quick and easy to set everything up. So I just need to create that bus and then I'm gonna create a ridiculous bus to uh, feed over to storage. So let me get that done and then we will flip the switch and see how quick it turns on. Okay, so I did make one change. I basically just rotated the stuff 90 degrees it just made more sense to be able to build it going out this direction and that's really quick and easy to do with only two floors. So then we have our ridiculously long build that will head over to storage. That way I'll always have yeah, somewhere around 10, 12,000 on hand. So whenever I have a future project, it'll be just real easy to grab all of them that I need. So then the finished product just goes straight down to this floor and then around and goes out so real simple so the only part that's left is to plug it up and turn on the timer
is the first couple, and I believe, after that first kind of stutter, I should just be on. So it's looking like we are at 200% already. So nice and quick and easy. Now I have a steady supply of 120 empty canisters per minute, which if you've ever used the diluted package fuel recipe, you'll know that you'll just easily go through a few thousand getting it all set up, even if you're recycling them. So I'm pretty happy. That is mission complete. Now the next project will be to actually use a whole lot of these in a fuel power plant back over at the Blue Crater. So look forward to that. And like always, thanks for watching.